Plasmatherm Versalign Metal Etcher, also called PTMTL, is an inductively coupled plasma or ICP dry etch system. It is configured for the etching of metals and metal-based compounds, such as oxides and nitrides, using chlorine or fluorine chemistry. It is a single wafer etcher for four or six inch wafers with a load lock and is in the contaminated equipment group in SNF. The following are the operating instructions for the plasma therm metal etcher. First check in Badger for tool status and wafer configuration and make sure it is available for processing and set for the appropriate wafer size. On the plasma therm control screen, note that the alarm, facility service has failed, indicates that the equipment is disabled in Badger. This alarm will disappear when the equipment is enabled. Check to see that the transfer arm has been set to the correct wafer size configuration as determined by the screw locations. Next, enable the tool on Badger. On the plasma therm screen, make sure that there are no active alarms on the system. The system is in standby mode and the chamber is empty as indicated on the diagram of the chamber. Choose the recipe to be run from the recipe section in the jobs slash job start screen. Note that the recipe sequence is a combination of several recipe steps and that in the plasma therm Versalign systems, the sequence as well as recipe steps are stored separately. If a recipe step is modified and saved, the changes are effective in all the sequences the recipe step is used, even if the sequence is not edited. Instructions for creating and editing recipes can be found on the SNF Plasma Therm web pages. As many different materials are processed in the plasma therm metal etcher, chamber clean and conditioning with a silicon dummy wafer are recommended before the actual etch process. Standard clean recipes are available in the recipe pages. Clean step times can be changed as needed. For chamber conditioning, use the recipe that will be used for processing the device wafers. After the recipe is selected, Click on the Go To Recipe Temperature button. This will set the tool to the temperature required for the recipe. Check that the system is in production mode as displayed in the status bar at the top of the screen. If it is in maintenance mode, you will need to go to the Maintain slash Mode screen and choose All Chambers Production. Maintenance mode is used for manually loading and unloading wafers from the load lock for loading the endpoint programs and for viewing the wafer surface using the camera. Vent the load lock by clicking the vent button under lock control. Once the load lock is vented and at atmosphere as indicated, open the load lock door, remove the wafer in the arm and load your wafer. Align the flat parallel to the line marked on the arm away from the chamber. Ensure that the wafer is touching the pins near the flat area. Close the load lock door. In job slash job start, double check that the correct recipe has been selected from the recipes list. Make sure that the recipe sequence and recipe steps are correct and have the desired settings. Also make sure process in PM no transfer box is unchecked and vent after job is selected. Then click on the start job button to start the processing. Once the processing begins, details of the process recipe and the process parameters, set points and actuals will appear on the right side of the job screen. 
click the job slash adjust button to monitor the, your process. You have a choice of monitoring three parameters in a real-time plot. Typically, ICP forward, ICP reflected, and pressure are plotted. Monitor the process as it progresses. In case the processing has to be aborted, click the command button next step in the job slash adjust screen as many steps as needed. Alternatively, press the stop button in the top menu bar. This will stop the process and give an alarm and selecting abort process from the alarm screen will get the wafer out. Do not use the stop job button located near the bottom left of the screen as this occasionally hangs up the machine. When processing is complete, wafers will be transported back to the load lock and the load lock will be vented if vent after job was selected. Once it is indicated that the load lock is at atmospheric pressure, remove the wafer from the load lock chamber. Continue with the next wafer, or if you have finished, pump the load lock. Finally, disable the tool in Badger. This completes the video for operating the Plasma Therm Metal Edge tool.